Hey guys, Michael here from the Fit Body Formula based in Dapshire. And in this video, I'm going to be um, talking about are you allowed to have a cheat day? Now, um, I don't know what your eating plan is like right now, so I'm, I'm going to base it on someone who is being, and um, based on two things someone who's doing a really good eating plan, they're really strict, um, and someone who isn't. So if you're following um, an eating plan and you're on track and you're following it to the letter, um, you probably can get away with having a cheat day once a week. You don't want a cheat day, you would probably want a cheat meal. And the reason why is this, is because if you've lost, um, say, a pound in a week, and you then go out and have um, a pizza that may be like um, a couple of thousand calories, or maybe a thousand calories, or something like that, then you have maybe a couple of drinks um, with that, so maybe a couple of beers or a couple of glasses of wine, you end up gonna be racking up the calories really fast so if you've only lost a pound, it's not going to be very wise to do that because the amount of calories you're ingesting would more than likely put that pound back on very quickly. But the most important thing is that um, I always get people in my programs to have one cheap, cheap meal a week. Um, and the reason why is this is because sometimes, if you're, if you, a lot of programs out there, if you've just started um, a program and the majority of programs will cut out um, lots of carbohydrates for a long period of time. So we only do it for like a maximum of a week normally. Um, and then at the end of the week, we'll have a cheat meal. And here's why, it's because if you go for seven days um, about high calories, you begin to suppress your hormones. So you may have lost a lot of weight quite quickly um, and, and done really well, but then if you don't have that cheat meal, um, you're only gonna carry on losing weight for a couple of more days. Um, and then it gets to a point where you end up plateauing really quickly even though your calories are really low and it becomes really weird. But that's mainly down to suppressing your hormones. Um, so when the hormones are suppressed, your, um, your metabolism lowers itself and you can't quite burn as much as, um, fat as you want to and keep losing weight. So that, what that cheat meal will do is if you've been on low calories or low, um, low carbs or no carbs most commonly, is that cheat meal will re reboosts up your hormones, gets a big influx of calories into your body, and it turns all your hormones back on, shocks the body, so then it can then be shocked into burning fat again. Obviously, if you um, were to go with minimal food, um, you'd lose weight, but the majority of the time, your hormones in your body would be working on starvation mode, so that whenever you eat, it'd be trying to be stored as fat, rather than used as fuel and as energy. So, um, I normally, um, tell people to have a, a maybe one cheat meal a week where they have quite some high calories um, and that kind of keeps the hormones in check make sure that they're getting the right amount of, amount of calories in over the week even though we don't count calories down here because it's a pain in the ass um, but yeah so have a cheat meal if you're on track now if you're not on track um, and you've been following a plan and you haven't stuck to it and you've been eating kind of what you want when you want on any given day that you want Chances are a cheat meal is not going to be um, a good idea because you've been cheating the whole time anyway um, and it's not going to do anything for your results in the first place, let alone having a cheat meal. So um, if you're someone who's um, on some sort of low calorie diet or low carbohydrate diet or doing a silly shake diet, um, you're just depending on shakes, a cheat day is going to be really important to keep your hormones in check. So um, that's my views on cheat meals, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to um, message me back or put a comment uh, below this. Okay, take care guys.